time. So very excited about that. And one thing I want you to notice, if you will, this sign right over here behind some of you folks, and it's on the on the right side of the room, seventeen thousand nine hundred and ninety. Remember that as our subject matter expert comes up here in just a few minutes to talk about the kicks and all the features that come on the kicks. I think you'll find it's a tremendous value, especially for what you can get in a car that is under twenty thousand dollars. So as you're driving today, remember some of these things and remember the starting price on the Nissan Kicks at seventeen nine ninety. An important point. Also, one other thing <clears throat> that, that I think is really cool. And there's so many cool things about this vehicle, but is the sound system, the Bose sound system in this car is phenomenal. We've got different grades of vehicles that are going to be available for you to drive today. So not all of them have that special sound system in them. Many of them do. So at lunchtime, we want everyone, if they can, to kind of switch up and let those folks who haven't been uh, able to experience that sound system uh, drive a vehicle that has it in it because you're going to want to check that out. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty special. Josh, am I forgetting anything? I think we mentioned one thing and I forgot what it was. What am I? <laughs> I busted. Um, what did you say? We, it was one other thing we needed to mention to them. Uh, we'll cover all that at the end, but uh, what are you talking about? Oh, that's right. That's right. One, that's one other thing I wanted to mention. These will be PT units, so these are not actual production units, so they're not quite perfect. They're pretty close, but they're not quite perfect. So please keep that in mind um, as you're driving. We may have some more housekeeping things to take care of uh, here in just a few minutes, but I want to bring up the guy who knows all about this vehicle. First one who was talking to me about it several months ago. That's James Marshner. He's our subject matter expert. He's one of many we have here, and many of us are wearing shirts like this. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. If we don't know the answer, we'll find someone who does. So without further ado, James, come on up here and uh, um, enlighten us on, on the kicks. Thank you. Good morning. <coughs> Off on stage. So I'm going to be presenting the Nissan Kicks, and uh, before I get into it, uh, we're going to show a video. So we have a number of videos that are, are up on YouTube. Uh, they, they kind of come off almost like commercials, but they're really just meant to be product informational. But they're great ways to show off the vehicle, and, and I think it also you're, you're going to get a sense of who our target buyer is with this just by, by seeing this video. Come on. Well, it wouldn't be a presentation if there weren't IT issues. Um, Tyler, could you come up here and uh, see if you can click through on the laptop? We'll go through it that way. It's on. <laughs> My wife likes to tell me I'm not funny, so. All right, so let's keep track. Okay, great. Uh, so that's Tyler Graves. Uh, so he's also on my team um, and presented yesterday. And before, well, let's get into this video. So that video kind of gives you a little bit of the essence of the vehicle and how we're going to frame it to the market. So it's already up on, on YouTube as well as a couple others that emphasize different features. 
So the Kix is the latest addition to the, the Nissan CUV lineup. You know, Rogue and Rogue Sport, those are our leaders, and it fits right underneath the Rogue Sport, which give us, gives us a really well fleshed out lineup. And, and one of the things I want to go into is okay, why bring another CUV <coughs> to, to the market? And, and basically, when we look at the opportunity that's out there, uh, this segment is growing. And, and we see it in the Echo Sport and the Kona, which are recent to the market as well. We compare ourselves to the, the Kia Soul as well. We group those three together as our main competitors. And, and we want a portion of that pie. We see a lot of opportunity in this, in this group. And so now, so this is our, our full lineup, you know, going from Kick all the way up to, to Armada. We're the expressive CUV uh, with a big emphasis on style and tech, you know, surprising space and great MPGs. Um, and, and we're really excited and feel that we have a, a lineup where almost any consumer what they're looking for in a CUV, we have a really strong offering to, to give them. So, so who is our target buyer? Um, you know, as you can probably tell from the video, and, and you've heard this before, you know, we're, we're going after millennials. And, and what is that? You know, we're looking at singles and couples. We're looking at you know, no children. You know, they're young-minded. They're creative. They're smart spenders. They're early in their career, right? You know, the, the technology <coughs> is a huge part of their life, and they need that in their vehicle. And but they're also image conscious and socially responsible. And, and then when it gets to their needs, right, that, that sense of style is really important. You know, they're used to having a different style. They want to be able to have a vehicle that, that shows off that style, but they still have those basic functional needs, right? Getting to work, but also the ability to go out and do adventures as well and still be affordable. So, you know, there, there's threading a needle there as far as what a vehicle needs to accomplish to, to appeal to this group. And, and we think we have a really strong offering for the kids. So there's, there's three kind of key things to know that, that I hope that you guys take away from this. You know, it's expressive style and smart design, it's unexpected technology and incredible value. And so we're gonna kind of go into detail in each of these three areas and, and basically with the intent that, you know, the kicks backs up, you know, each of those three things. So first, on the style part. So this was a, a joint design effort between San Diego and Brazil. Uh, it was inspired kind of by Brazil's carnival you know, in the design. Uh, this was, the concept was first shown in 2014 in Sao Paulo, um, and, and the actual vehicle is actually fairly close to it. But when we start talking about style, you know, what the Nissan style that's apparent here, you know, some of you may be familiar with kind of our V-Motion grille, the boomerang headlights, headlamps and taillights, the floating roof. These are all elements that are, are across our lineup so that people, when they go to a membership, you know, they know it's a Nissan. So when we talk about Carnival being inspiration, okay, how is the, how is the car doing that? And, and a lot of it's through color. And we have five two-tone offerings. You guys are gonna see all of them today. And, and it looks fantastic and it differentiates itself on the road. And, and it really, we spent a lot of time looking at what colors offer. And, and the, these five are really exciting. They're great looking. And, and they're, it's only $150 as well. So it, it's really, um, this is how we're kind of showing that expressive character in the vehicle. Um, but the other part is on the interior uh, with the color studio. So we have both exterior and interior color studio accessory pieces, 12 total, five different colors. So this is basically giving the, the customer the opportunity to, to personalize to another model. And, and it really gives it a sharp look. And you're gonna see some different pictures uh, throughout the presentation with, with different ways to, to accessorize a case. So once we get past kind of some of those accessories and we get into the, the interior, so the style of the dash is called the gliding wing dashboard design. We have a, a central seven inch color touch screen, that's standard, um, and then a D-shaped steering wheel, and then we have you know, the optional heated front seats with prima texting and surfaces. To give it a very, a very nice, simple interior, you know, we, we've been hearing a lot of comments about how it's a very intuitive dashboard, easy to find what you want to do in the vehicle. Um, the other part is on the, on the seating. So we seat five comfortably. Uh, it's the NASA-inspired zero-gravity seats that we have up front, which feel fantastic for, for longer road trips. Uh, but then when it comes to space, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about the space story we have this vehicle. When you walk up to it, you know, you're going to think, oh, it's not, not the biggest SUV in the world, right? But once you get in it, you see, you know, best-in-class front legroom, best-in-class front headroom. It's really surprising for me. I'm 6'2". And, and I have no issues being comfortable in there with the space I have. The other side is, is the cargo area. You know, when you open up that hatch, you know, how much space do you have? How many suitcases can you fit? Uh, 25.3 cubic feet is better than the Soul Kona Echo Sport CHR. 
You know, so it, it compares really favorably uh, in the cargo space, which is hugely important for those weekend trips that we're, we're looking at you know, with our target customer. So now let's get into the unexpected technology. So Nissan Intelligible Building has, has three pillars. This is a, a really important aspect of our branding going forward. You're gonna see Nissan Intelligent Mobility and a lot of just Nissan advertising. So this is intelligent driving, intelligent integration, and intelligent power. And basically Kix, you know, when we look at it, has, has all of those aspects in it. So we get into intelligent driving. So AEB is standard. AEB standard at that starting S, at MSRP of 17,990. You know, Seoul, Kona, Equus Sport, you know, they, they don't have it at that price point. And that's hugely important because it, it's a safety feature that, that customers really care about. The other aspects of on the um, SV, you get blind spot warning, the rear cross traffic alert, and then the class lead and intelligent round view monitor at SR. So those are like on the intelligent driving. Now when we get into the intelligent integration, so the standard seven inch touchscreen, but then you also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and that comes in on the SV. The available seven inch advanced driver assist display, that was that customizable tab that you saw in the video where you can kind of scroll in and show your music or, or a couple different options. And then the Bose Personal Plus audio system that Steve mentioned, which is fantastic. You know, so this is kind of how we, we have offerings along the intelligent integration. And so just going a little bit more on the Bose Personal Sound System. So it's eight total speakers with, with two of those in the headrest of the, the driver. And, and it sounds fantastic. You kind of have an ability to, to change the tuning on the speakers so that they're focused either on the driver or on the rest of the occupants, which is, they, they sound great. We're, I'm real excited to, to hear what you guys think once you actually have a chance to, to uh, hear them yourself. So here's just a little bit more technical on, on those speakers. Uh, we're really excited for them. They look great too. Now on performance, so, we have best in class MPG. And when I say best in class, I mean the 33 is the best in class, the 36 highway is best in class, the 31 city is best in class. And this is a fantastic story. We all know gas prices have been going up recently. It resonates with our customers. This is, this is really hugely important and we're really excited to have that. Um, so on the actual performance, so we have 125 horsepower and 115 foot, uh, pound foot of torque. Um, you know, I know when you see that number, you know, you're gonna think, wow, that's, that's, that's a little, little low maybe, but then I want you to look at the low curb rate. You know, 2,600 pounds, it's really low, and that, that enables something. So this is a, a graph of kind of the power to weight ratio. Um, so basically the goal is you wanna be kind of in the upper right hand corner with a high power to weight ratio and the best MPGs. And basically we have by far the best uh, fuel efficiency, and it's still very competitive on the power to weight ratio. So that low curb rate really, um, helps out, you know, with, with having a smaller engine than, than some of our competitors, and, and it's not an issue at all in the drive, and I think you're going to see that once you get in it. So here's some more technical specs, and I think this is in some of the material that you've already been given, um, just on, on what the, the vehicle has. So the incredible value, so everything we just talked about in terms of, you know, style, space, technology, you know, that's a, that's a pretty impressive value story. So we start at S at $17,990, the SD $19,690, you know, so under $20K, SR $20,290, and the SR premium package is just $1,000. And we're going to kind of review again just what, what each you try. So in the S, so you have the ABB standard, the Bluetooth hands-free, the rear view monitor, three USBs, which is really important. Um, the intelligent auto headlights, easy fill tire alert, a remote keyless entry with push button starts. So this is now a vehicle where you still have the old school key to turn it on. You know, it, it feels a lot more high tech than you would expect in, in a base version. Now moving up to the SV 19690s, this is what we expect to be our most popular grade. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for this to get in customers' hands because for under $20,000, you have those standard features. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you know, hugely important to millennials. You have the seven inch tack, you have blind spot warning and rear cross traffic alert. You have the Nissan Intelligent key, so that's the key where you can just press a button on the door handle and it opens up for you. Um, the 17 inch alloys and, and then the automatic temperature controlling. All that feature content with the space, with the style for under 20K, it's just really compelling, I think. And anyone who has a budget under 20K, uh, it's gonna be tough to keep the, the Kix SD off your list. So moving up to the SR, our sportier trim, so that's where you get some of the accent pieces like the LED headlights, the fog lights, um, you get the leather wrap steering wheel, some orange accent pieces inside, so some of the vehicles you have here are SRs, 
the dark chrome grill, and then the intelligent around you monitor as, as the key safety tech, which is really useful for you know, anytime you're in a city doing parallel parking in a, a parking garage. Uh, I love ABM. And then the SR Premium, so this is where you get those Bose headrest speakers and then the heated Prima Tech's appointed seats. Um, so an incredible value for, for only 21,290. It's, it's pretty impressive. So we have a set of, of kind of the usual accessories. So coming right back, right? Style, tech, and value. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a great vehicle. We're really excited for you guys to drive it. Um, and and I, I mean, I'm a big fan of it. I've been working on it for a year and a half now. So we put together some kind of competitive, uh, you know, just when you're looking at us versus those three main competitors with the Kia Soul. So we have more room, you know, front leg room and headroom, cargo space. We're a lot better on gas. We have some better tech. And then when you look at what you have to do to kind of get some of these key safety and tech features, you know, what you have to pay for a Kia Soul versus a Kix, you know, you're looking at, you know, almost $7,000 in some of these key technology features. I mean, that's fantastic for customers who need and want that, that future content. It's a similar story versus the Kona. So we have more front headroom and legroom, total interior volume, cargo space than the Kona, better gas mileage, and then the same thing on the technology. I mean, look at how much more you have to pay to get a Kona outfitted with ABB. You know, $27,400 vehicle versus a $17,990. I mean, that's, that's a huge gap and a, and a huge advantage for us. And the Ford Echo Sport, once again, it, it's the same thing. So more room, better on gas, better tech, better value. So on the media side, so uh, things are starting to really get going now with, with the vehicle. It's, it's been hitting dealers in just like the last week or so. Um, so you're gonna start to see a lot more ramp up of activity on, on the media. We're looking at partnerships, you know, with people like Billboard, Spotify. Uh, the World Cup is obviously going on. Vehicles called the Kicks. Soccer is about kicking a soccer ball. So you're gonna see some stuff there. Um, and, and we're really excited about it. Some of it's still, I think some of the, the tier one advertising is getting filmed right now. Um, and uh, you're gonna see a lot of that in the coming months. Uh, the other side of this is the cultural support. So, you know, with the multicultural is really important to the Nissan and this vehicle. So we're gonna be involved with the BET Awards throughout and there's LGBTQ pride events. So uh, they're, they're, we're gonna be having the kick's name out in a lot of different places in, in the coming weeks. With that, it's Q and A time. If, if Evan and Tyler, or if you have any questions before Josh gets into some housekeeping, you guys can get in the car. What's the plural of kicks? The plural kicks off. Kicks of apostrophe. Is car available for all wheel drive? No. It is, it is a front wheel drive only. You know, the Rogue Sport is where our all wheel drive lineup starts. Questions? If not, then just a couple of quick housekeeping things. Uh, so, everybody obviously took care of route folks, all your instructions. So, we're going to drive south down to Playa Margo uh, for lunch. So, we do just kind of encourage you to stay on pace there today because of timing getting down there and back. So, uh, great opportunities for photos. And as you guys all know, the, the famous prestige Leon arrows, keep an eye out for those for the route, so you'll see those along <coughs> if you need to. Um, these guys are available if you need a drive partner or want an SME to ride along with you, just uh, grab one of those guys. Um, other than that, we'll grab all of our stuff from here. Um, we'll follow Tony just out the back to one of these restrooms before we get down. We'll go down to the cars, head down there. 